What's up, YouTubers? It is a Super Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday, as a matter of fact. And I decided to go ahead and record a video because I haven't recorded one in a hot minute. So my team made it to the Super Bowl. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Uh, 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 uh. That's my team. The six Berg Steelers, soon to be the seven Berg Steelers. To all you Ravens fans who had the little logos of the Steelers with the dog pooping on it and talking all your trash and all that. What happened, boo-boo? Didn't quite make the cut, did you? Aww. Team not in the Super Bowl? Well, mine is. So sad. Too bad. But I'm glad. <laughs> Anywho. Um, YouTube is giving me 15 minutes to make a video now. Because I've uploaded 800 trillion million. It's about time, YouTube. Thank you very so much. Thank you so very much, rather. I'm saying stuff all backwards. Like I'm the Riddler. And who was that who used to say stuff backwards? Oh, Bizarro. Y'all remember Bizarro? He used to, Bizarro from Superman who used to say stuff backwards? That's what I sounded like. But um, let me give a shout out to my people who usually watch my videos. My sister Bridget, who's got me through some tough times by talking to me. That's my best friend at the end of the day. No matter what differences we go through, I love her to death. Miss Vinette, who also records videos for YouTube all the time. If you look at Miss V, I love you. I miss you. And I can't wait to get home and see you, Shelly. That's my little Haitian buddy. Um, Ramon, sometimes you watch too. You've been watching my videos, Ramon. I miss you. When you get home, when I get home, we're going to go out and do something, boo-boo. Me, you, and your big old BMW. Yeah, I remember your big old car. Anyway. And your Beyonce, your love for Beyonce and Trina. I miss you, Ramon. I miss all of y'all. But let me see. Oh, that's it for my little shout outs. Now, whoever else I miss, sorry I love y'all, but I'll see y'all when I get home. As far as everything is concerned in my life, I'm still a single, single mother. Yes, the mother and the father. Whoever doesn't like the fact that I say I'm the mother and the father, well, you can suck it easy. I really don't care what you think. I am the mother and the father. For the past 16 months, I've been doing it all and the court papers show that i've been doing it all it's called child support that i'm not getting so yeah i pretty much been doing it all because i am the mother and the father my mom said if you don't have anything nice to say don't say anything at all so i won't you know remark on the fact that i got into it and i'm at odds with you know people on the opposite side of my daughter's family because you know that's not important it's trivial and insignificant so I won't even go there with that. But it's okay, because I'll have my day in court. Believe me, I'll have my day in court. Otherwise, and then my daughter is beautiful, very smart. She knows her ABCs. She's starting to know her one, two, threes, which I know there's not such thing as one, two, threes, but her letters and her numbers. So don't come correcting me and telling me I'm ghetto. I get it. She knows those. Um, for some reason, maybe it's because I'm a TV-holic, she knows cops. Our cable carrier, when she sees it, she just started saying, Cox, Cox. I did not teach her that. I do not teach her those kind of things. I teach her the alphabet and her numbers. So do not ask me where she got that from. I'm not going to be one of those mothers who kids knows video and TVs more than they know their letters and their numbers. That's not happening. I don't know why she knows that, but she does. Go figure. She's smarter than I thought. Um, let me see what else. Yeah, still single, like I said. I'm not really interested in dating because I'm focused on school, which, by the way, I did not get a chance to get back into school, but I'm going to. Um, I have to appeal my credits, which I am going to do because I busted my hump. I worked hard, and I am transferring those credits, come hell or high water. I did too much. I worked too hard. I was too smart. I got too many good grades for me to go and start that over again. Ain't happening, Captain. So I'm going to appeal that, and because my student loans are just about finished, I have to get grants. I'll do what it takes. I need to get my degree, start teaching, and have a successful career for my daughter. In the meantime, I am looking for a job. So if anybody needs customer service reps and you're willing to pay a decent salary, and you know somebody that's looking for customer service reps and is willing to pay a decent salary, in the Crestview, Florida area, the Panhandle, which is Pensacola, for Walton Beach, Destin, um, Niceville, Milton, in that particular area, hit my box, let me know, I will apply. I need a job. The stay-at-home mom business, hmm, it's okay for a little bit, but my daughter's old enough now. Like I said, she's progressing very well. 
I don't have a qualms that she won't be learning anything if she goes to daycare. I need to go outside the house and earn some paper, some bread, and some cheese for me and my daughter. So I gotta do what I need to. Let me see what else is going on in my life. I told you about school, told you about work. It's not really a whole bunch going on. Um Oh, my hair. It's not growing like I want it to grow. I stopped cutting it ages ago. And I really want it to grow and get long so I can put twists and, you know, not locks, but like twists and different styles in it. And it's not growing that well. So um, my friend Q-Londa that lives here recommended that I go on to YouTube on here and look up this lady named Love Natural because she has ways to take care of your hair so that it does grow. Um, I dyed it. It didn't come out too red you could really not really see it that much so i'm gonna get like a really pinkish red and get it done for my birthday which is eight weeks because that'd be the time pass i don't want my hair to fall out and i'm gonna get it professionally dyed and twisted and you guys will probably be able to see the big difference when i put that color in because it is short red then my hair is hard to dye it was hard to relax before so i mean it, it shouldn't surprise me that it's hard to dye it's always been hard to dye i forgot because it had been so long since i put any dye in my hair but if not, if I don't do that, I'm going to get a nice full weave. I kind of miss weave, but I'm not relaxing it. That's just, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm just done with those kind of chemicals. So, I still rock my little big earrings. And by the way, if you do know somebody that's hiring, I'm not going to an interview like this. So, don't get a sister twisted and think I can't be professional. And I'll have on my full makeup. You know, I don't have it on today. I have my eyebrows done and my little MAC lip gloss. This is date night, by the way. I would love a date night, but it is what it is. I'm focused on school and work. So right now, dating is not my thing. I'm just focused on school and trying to get a job. But this is a banging-ass lip color. Ain't it? Banging. I like it. I like it. Date night. And these earrings are nice, but I wouldn't wear them to an interview. This is just to make my little YouTube videos. Be looking around the way my around the way girl look or whatever. I just got on my little house dress today. I'm showing a little bit of boobage here. Didn't mean to show all that here. A little bit of boobage there. Finish all that. Anyway, um, I had guests earlier, so I had on a bra. I still do, but I didn't want it to be showing up in my video. Because I wasn't trying to put all my business out here. This is not a porn. This is not a porn advertisement. So, yeah. Just put up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because in the future, when my daughter sees this, I don't want her to be like, My mama was showing the world her goods. No, I wasn't. But anyway... That's pretty much it it's tax time you know what that means bills caught up to for real get no actually ahead get some more needs for my daughter probably do a little bit of shopping for myself it depends I don't know I'm definitely gonna put some aside to save oh did I mention I might move back to Florida this summer I might hopefully I do I think I said that already why do I feel like I'm saying that again I'm aiming for 2012 minimum, maximum, excuse me. But if I move back to Florida this summer, I will be happy. And that single title will be gone. Because there's a few people there that want to make me be taken. And that would happen because I've known them for a long time. They should have been my baby daddy. They aren't. But, uh, yeah, I, I would definitely be dating them. I would not be single. Believe me, I wouldn't be single. I miss Jamaican food. I miss Haitian food. I miss Cuban food. Oh my God, I miss some Jamaican food. Some oxtails. Oh, some curry goat. I finally found a good Chinese restaurant here. Um. Ooh. While I'm speaking of food, which I shouldn't be over here oodling and drooling out on camera about food because that's the last thing I need to be oodling and drooling about. I want to go on this show called Heavy that's on A&E. They kind of put you in like an adult fat camp. You lose, you, you, um, get with the trainer you lose weight um they modify your food all that good stuff i really do want to be in there i wouldn't mind the cameras following me so the world can see my journey i'm not camera shy you already all uh, guys already know that but it's like nobody knows what it's like to be heavy and until you walk a mile in a heavy person's shoes don't judge them for going on a show don't judge them for having gastric bypass because if i could have that i would because you just don't know what it's like until you walk down that road and you've been there because nobody wakes up in the morning and says yeah, I'm happy, I'm confident, but I love being heavy set. 
I love being fat. I love being obese. I love being big bone, BBW, whatever you call it. No, they don't wake up in the morning and say that. I don't care what they say. And as confident as I am and as secure as I am in my skin, I just don't wake up every morning loving the fact that I'm heavy set. I don't want to wake up and worry about, oh, am I going to have a gallbladder attack today, which can be attributed to being a heavy set? Or is my back going to hurt when I do too much playing with my kid? I want to play with my daughter and play with her freely. I want to be able to take her to Disney World, get on a ride without any problem, and not have to worry about if, if they're going to tell me I can't get on there or anything of that sort because that would be humiliating. It's not happening to me, but still, I don't want to have to worry about those kind of things in my life. I want to be carefree when it comes to that there's so many other things that i have to worry about i don't want my weight to be something i have to worry about is i'm gonna am i gonna get sick in the future am i gonna be here for my daughter so i'm gonna let you guys know how that goes if i decide to audition for that show um let me see what else is going on that's pretty much it pretty much it um but youtubers i'm glad to Grace you guys with my presence. I love you guys. Subscribe, rate, comment. Don't be shy. Feel free. I'm engaging. I talk to people. I interact. Let me know what you think of my vids. Most of all, subscribe. Do, do that. Alrighty, YouTubers. I am out of here. Do, 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 sis. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Mm, 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 mm. Back in yellow, back in yellow, back in yellow, back in yellow.